Today I'll be showing Zupa Toscana. So we're going to be using some cheap and affordable ingredients. You'll need heavy whipping cream, um, any kind of pork sausage, some red pepper flakes, uh, garlic salt, some Italian seasoning, some oregano, and uh, any kind of brown potatoes, Idaho potatoes preferred. Um, and a sack of kale or any kind of chopped kale. And if you want, you can add a little bit more heavy whipping cream. You can get like another bottle if you want. I like a little bit more. First thing you want to do is start chopping these potatoes into cubes. You'll want to wash and cut about five to six potatoes. It really depends how much potatoes you really want in there. So the reason why I started making a video on how to make it is because I get a lot of friends and family members that ask me all the time, how do I make this soup? And yeah, I think it would just be easier just to record a video so they finally know how to make it and it'll make their lives more easier. Um, sometimes I have friends that re remake it and uh, they'll add like onions or bacon to it. Which is awesome, like I, I, I love how seeing all these people do different things with it. Next you're going to want to add chicken broth or you can use water, that's what I'm doing. And um, just make sure you don't fill it up too high. Um, I just add water to it and add chicken bouillon to it. And um, then I want to set the heat into like a high, high heat so the water goes to a boil. The reason why you don't want to fill the water all the way up is because you're going to be adding kale to it and um, the sausage to it. So you want to make sure that water's not all the way high up. Uh, leave a little bit of room. You're also going to be adding heavy cream to it. So, all right. While that's going on, I need to peel my garlic. So I'm going to add them to two different separate bowls and just start shaking it. And cool, they turned out perfect, and they're nice and peeled now. Alright, and now we're mincing the garlic, so we can throw it onto the sausage later on. Now that we're done mincing the garlic, we're going to add some seasoning to the water that's boiling. And I usually just add the Italian seasonings first. And then uh, the crushed red pepper. Okay, and next we're going to start browning the sausage. And um, once it starts hitting to about medium cooked, I would say, um, to start adding some red crushed pepper to it and add the other seasonings. Add a little bit of seasoning salt to it, um, just to give it like a little bit flavor. You don't add too much because um, pork is already naturally salty. And then next add the Italian seasoning and the oregano and Start mixing all that together. And once it's almost fully cooked, uh, that's when I start adding the garlic so it cooks perfectly with the sausage. And then I just start mixing it up all together until the sausage is fully cooked. And then uh, once that's done, that's when you add the sausage into the soup and um, start mixing it all up together. And then you're gonna wanna start adding the kale and mix that all together at a medium to low heat. 
So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my mom for inspiring me to make the soup. It's originally an Olive Garden recipe, and it's an Italian soup, of course. But um, I found it so crazy. Last time I went to Olive Garden, it was about $7 for a bowl, but the ingredients... I bought myself was only like $13 at the most, so it definitely saves a lot of money. Next, you're going to want to add the heavy whipping cream. Um, I usually use like a whole small carton full and um, I'll sometimes add like a little bit extra to it, like a, an extra half of a carton, a small carton, because I kind of like my soup a little bit creamier. But yeah. Pretty much the rest that you need to do is just keep mixing it together and um, just add whatever extra seasonings you might want to do. If you want to add some more seasoning, give it a little taste and see where it goes from there. Okay, and after that, you'll want to cover it up and let it simmer from three to five minutes. And while that's happening, I'll just heat up some garlic bread. And once that garlic bread is done heating up, you should be ready to go and enjoy your meal.